Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you um, have a moment to sit down and uh, check out this video. Um, my name is Maddie, for those of you who um, don't know me or if we haven't met. And this is just one of the video blogs that um, get posted for the Sisterhood Project to just um, encourage you um, in your faith and just kind of sit and talk about um, something. It's normally what God's just been teaching me. Um, if you have, as a side note, if you have any questions, any challenges, any things um, that you want me to address or you want to talk about, please email me. Um, it's under the contact section, all of my info um, on the blog, but my email is madeline underscore hockley at hotmail.com. Um, so send me an email if you want me to discuss anything. But I just want to quick read one of my like life verses and one of my favorite verses and sometimes it's not um, noticed a lot, but it's Acts um, 13.36, and I'm just going to read it and then just make a few comments. It says, For David, so King David in the Old Testament, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep, which means he died, <laughs> and was laid among his fathers, and he underwent decay. It's a little bit of like a morbid... Uh, verse of like David died and underwent decay but this part has like rocked my life um, it says for David after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation and David had a purpose like God put David on the earth in that time period for David to serve a purpose for God and for his kingdom and for his glory and that encourages me in my faith so much because like God placed me in 2015 to be 22 years old um, to have a purpose to fulfill in this generation and it God didn't screw up and put you in the wrong generation um, God doesn't make mistakes and you're here to do God's work and and if you need a starting point your whole reason you're on this earth is to go and make disciples it's to go and proclaim Christ to people um, if that wasn't the case, we would be in heaven already. The reason why you've accepted, sometimes you wonder, like, well, I've accepted Christ. I know I'm going to heaven. Like, why why doesn't Jesus just come back or zap me up? The reason is because you are supposed to go and make disciples. You're supposed to tell people that um, there's hope and that there's life in Jesus Christ. And this verse in Acts 13, 36, like, David had served the purpose of God. When you die, if this... If someone was writing about you, could you put your name in this verse? Like, for example, for Maddie, after she had served the purpose of God in her own generation, fell asleep and underwent decay. Like, I want, I want so bad for that verse to reflect me and for, for me to be able to put my name. I want to serve the purpose of God in my generation. And just know that doing that, like, God equips us for that. He doesn't just say, okay, go do it go make disciples, he actually comes with us and he speaks through us and um, we don't save a single person, it's the Holy Spirit working in us that saves people. So just wanted to encourage you with that verse um, this week, you have a purpose and you are placed in a specific generation and God doesn't make mistakes and he wants you to do work, get working for his kingdom and um, when our eyes are fixed on worldly things, it's so easy to get distracted. Um, but when our eyes are fixed on Christ and um, on above, the rest makes sense. And um, I just challenge you and I encourage you um, to go and make disciples this week because you want to serve the purpose of God. You have purpose. Your life has purpose. Just like David, life had purpose. Um, and then in Acts, they're re-recording it saying, like, David served God. And David wasn't perfect. We're not perfect. I screw up all the time. <laughs> Um, but I still want to be able to to say for, for Maddie after she had served the purpose of God in her generation. So I just hope you have a great week. Um, if you have a prayer request or anything that you just want to talk about, please contact me. Um, it's the best. I love chatting with you and, and hanging out um, in this way. So God bless you.